everyone, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Eliana. I'm a designer, illustrator, and small stationery shop owner. If you're interested to know more about me, all the links will be down below. I haven't made any studio vlogs in a while, and now that I have the time, I thought I'd create an unboxing video instead because I have a pile of packages under my desk that has been accumulating dust now, and I thought it's about time for me to open them. So here is the said pile. Today's video will be an unboxing slash stationery haul featuring local artists from the Philippines. I am very excited to open all of these packages. I haven't been opening packages since May, I believe. Please don't judge me. So yeah, let's go do the unboxing. First off, we have Jenny Anari. I really hope I said her handle right. Janina's work are very pastel and dreamy. I first saw her work when a friend of mine tagged me on one of her Taylor Swift fan art merch posts on Instagram, which I remember were folklore inspired stickers. And since then, I've been seeing her videos on TikTok. These are freebies she gave me, by the way. I really wasn't expecting the freebies to be this much, but I'm not complaining. And she gave me a note, which is really sweet of her. Thank you, Janina. For my order, I saw that she released some cute cat illustrations when I came across a video that she posted on TikTok. And because I love cats, I just, I just had to get them all. I mean, look how cute these are. I initially bought these stickers to put on my Tumblr, but I couldn't bring myself to use them still, so they're just lying around. I also bought this strawberry holographic sticker and this circle scallop edge sticker with bunnies on it. Next up, we have jpillustrates.ph. I have never met Janelle formally in person, but I know that I've been with her on some bazaars in the past, when bazaars and conventions were still a thing. But we got in touch through Instagram and she asked me to trade sticker samplers with her, and so that's what we did. I really love her packaging. You can definitely see the effort she puts when packing up her orders. I'm sorry for ruining the package. But okay, there we go. Here we are. She gave me a lot of freebies, mostly sticker samplers from other local artists. And I really like that we are able to support each other in the art community. I also appreciate her effort to reuse packaging. This, I believe, is the backing sheet of the laminating films she used. These are the stickers I got from her. And also the sticker samplers that she gave me. Oh, I know. Thank you, Janelle. By the time you're seeing this, all the samplers are already gone. I gave them away during my last shop update back in September. So yeah, thanks again, Janelle. Here we have the art of Mar. Mars is one of the local shops slash artists I've been following for a while now and I watch her studio vlogs here on YouTube a lot. I'll put the links down below. I love how cozy and nostalgic her art makes me feel. I reached out to her if we could exchange sticker samplers and I was really giddy when she said yes to me. Her artworks are very cool toned, very pastel-y and dreamy, but it leaves you warm and fuzzy inside. Well, at least it does leave me warm and fuzzy inside, and I think that's very nice. I already used up some of these by now. I use them a lot in my journal spreads. And yes, this is the sticker samplers she gave me. I like their recycled wrapper and I'll be reusing them as backgrounds or decoration for my future journal spreads. These are also gone by now. Look how cute the Shiba Inu is and that Sakura flower. Yes, thanks again Mars!
Next we have Deco Art Manila or Deco Art MNL. I've featured Priscilla's shop on one of my studio vlogs before when I bought a bunch of stuff from her shop. She sells a lot of different washi tapes from vintage, floral, the cute and themed designs depending on the season. She also offers some crafting tools and ephemeris, which for sure a lot of you guys would love. I really admire her dedication and I can definitely feel the love she puts in all the orders she packs. They always look so pretty and nice and well packaged. For my order this time, I just really wanted to get my hands on these perforated stamped washi tapes, which are vintage botanical themed. I realized I didn't really have any vintage botanical themed washi. I know, very shocking. Plus, these are the first perforated type of washi tapes that I will own. She also gave me free memo pads, which are so nice in person. I feel like I'm receiving a special gift every time I order from her. Thank you, Priscilla. Moving on, we have Studio Paper Bear Shop. I only bought one thing and I found out about this product through Jam of Paper Arca Shop because I saw her share it on her stories and I immediately went and checked it out. This was a collaboration between Studio Paper Bear and Paper Arca Shop. And because I'm a sucker for a limited collaboration merch, and because it was a washi tape, I just had to get it. And besides, I'm able to support my friends, so for me, it's a plus plus. Also, got some of these cute freebies, which are in themed with the washi tape she gave me. The washi tape is a tropical mermaid themed design and I like how the small details such as the eyes of the animals and the fruits and the stars are gold foiled. I didn't notice it at first and I only realized it when I opened up this washi tape. It really added to the design in my opinion and it's just looks so pretty. Next up is Paper Rika Shop. I consider Jam as one of my dearest friends in the art community. Her art is just amazing and I remember fangirling the first time I saw her in a bazaar. And it was so funny how I was sibling across from her and I couldn't look her in the eyes because I was so shy. But yeah, I really do love her and her art. We also traded samplers and she gave me this Rika sampler which are really cute. The sunflower one is my favorite. I love how vintage her works are, and it's very, I don't know, like magical in a way that makes you want to craft and stay cozy all the time. It goes perfectly well on my journal spreads because of the vintage cottagecore theme she has going on. She also gave me a lot, a lot, 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 lot of freebies, which I was low-key overwhelmed with. I mean, look at all these. These are just freebies. I splurged and got most of her mica sticker sheets, which I believe is a staple product in her shop. I mean, she's the best. Look at her works, the details. <laughs> Just chef's kiss. Oops. There we go. She also gave me another package with more freebies, which I was so surprised about. So if you're watching this jam, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And a note at the back of the postcard. Thank you. And oh, by the way, I got her sticker sheets in different finishes. I think she has four or five, and they are regular matte, premium matte, transparent, and craft, I believe. And I got those just to know how her designs would look like in the different kinds of paper, and she did not disappoint. 
Thanks again, Joe. This one is from PL Creates. I find Pam's work to be sort of retro-ish with her palette and sparkles and the gradients she has going on in all of her works. I love how she used a honeycomb wrapper instead of a bubble wrap to protect her packaging. Her wrapping paper is so nice and it looks so pretty with the seal. I also exchanged sticker samplers with her and this is what it looks like. Even her card is so pretty. My favorite out of the bunch is this trinket sticker sheets. I squealed a bit when I saw the postcard she included because it was the trinkets design. Said postcard is now currently on my wall above my packaging area. Thank you again, Pam. This here is from Mommy Wonder Roof. I have always adored Miss Lens packaging. It's so well made and carefully packed. I mean, look how many layers of craft paper she wrapped this in. I also like how she bundles up her products, which always looks so cohesive and put together. Look how pretty this is. And my name, and this ribbon, it's just so nice. I admire how she's able to come up with the designs of her kits, especially the ones in thin can. You don't have to store it anywhere else because you already have storage included. I mean, that's genius. I can only imagine the time spent and the effort she puts in making them. This is one of the packages I was really looking forward to opening because I knew the experience would be thrilling, you know, like getting a surprise present on Christmas morning. <laughs> I love, love, love everything. I mean, everything about this vintage tea party kit. When I first saw the contents of the Vintage Tea Party Kit on a post she posted on IG, I was so excited. How she incorporated a tea bag and tea packet as containers for the sticker flakes. Very nice. I didn't open it up here in camera because I really don't want to <laughs> ruin the packaging. But the kit also includes these memo pads and these pretty and dainty characters with their matching desserts and drinks. So nice, so pretty. I cannot stop gushing about this kit and just 11 out of 10. I'm very happy about this purchase and I'm looking forward to purchasing from her again. Thanks, Miss Len. Next up is Shop Abby C or Abby C. Abby is one of the local artists that I admire and get inspired by. I always look forward to her shop updates because honestly, all the products she makes are well made and of high quality that is right up on my alley. I love her art style and her color palette. 
because it reminds me so much of fall, which is my favorite season. And she has this very earthy aesthetic, which I find similar to mine. We recently collaborated on a stationery box called Scening, together with Paper Rica Shop and Crafts Delight. And the trees that I got here are part of that bundle. She also gave me a lot of freebies and extras, and by a lot, I mean a lot. And honestly, I'm just I'm grateful for her. I absolutely love her washi tape, so I try to buy as much as I can with the budget I set myself with every time I order from her shop. she makes goes so well on my journal spreads, especially when I make collages. It's very travel and nature themed and the color palette is early like I said and I love that it makes my spread warm and so pleasing to look at. Thanks again Abby! This pink package came from Crafts Delight. Now, if you've not heard of Jenna before, the best description I could give would be that she loves pink. Her products are very pink, pastel, and dainty. She specifically makes a lot of functional sticker sheets, and most of them are made for Hobonichi weeks, which I find really great since it's seldom that you can find small functional stickers that fit a compact planner such as the Hobo Weeks. I wasn't expecting her to give me a gift, but she included this vintage ceramic tray coaster plate. And I really like it because I have an affinity with vintage and antique pieces, and I would love to collect a lot of tchotchkes that I can display in my home someday. I also traded soundtracks with her. And this is the second time that we did so. I think I featured Crafts Delight in my studio vlog before, along with Priscilla's or Deco Art Manila's package. As you can see, the packaging and seals are in various shades of pink, as well as all these freebies have a hint of pink in them. Fearless! Let's bend them back together. So my favorite thing from her shop is the set of deep rare words written like a dictionary description layout. I'm not the best describer out there. That, that these one ones. I also love these cut out words phrases. I use them to make up motivational quotes on my planner. Honestly, all of my artist friends are very generous as they always give me a lot of freebies and I'm very thankful to them for it. So please do check them all out. I'll leave all their links down below. So yeah, thanks Jen, I think, for this very pink package. Last but not the least from my stationery haul is this curated mystery craft box from Put It In Paper. And oh my god, you guys, I have been looking forward to opening this since I got it because it's everything I wanted in the bundle. Look at these vintage stationery. 
I got two washi tapes from the box and this is what they look like. It's again what very vintage and great for layering. I also got a lot of botanical slash floral related stickers and ephemeris such as these. I love, love these botanical illustrations. It's something that I've always wanted to recreate, hopefully in the future. And these pattern postcards, which reminds me of the floral prints from Pippin Press and a floral stamp. I also got these torn pages, doilies, and a big leaf, which will be great for scrapbooking. Thank you, Miss Jem. The last two local makers that I'm featuring aren't stationary related, but I thought I'd include them since I'm doing an unboxing anyway, and I want to do as much as I can to support these other makers, so I'm including them in this video. So this box is from Stellare Manila or Stellare MNL. Joey and Miggy, who are the owners of Stellare, are very special to me. They recently had a collaboration with Beadsy, which is also a local beads crop shop, I believe. This is their Little Twin Stars collection. You get some sticker freebies as well as a candle guide. Beadsy made these two pink and blue beaded bracelets to go along with the collections and I'm just gonna wear them now. The scent of the candles are dreams which are berries and sweet vanilla and wishes which is my fave that smells like vanilla cake and buttercream icing i am in love with scented candles and it's a permanent staple inside my room these two smell so wonderful and i light them up especially before bedtime thanks again joey and Maggie. these last two packages are from iori dori iori i hope i said her name right is a ceramic artist and illustrator I've been eyeing her face mugs for so long and when she opened up a pre-order earlier this year, I knew I had to get myself one and so I did. And this is what the face mug looks like. I was able to choose the color of her hair and I chose the peach coral one because it matched my hair back in April, which was also peach, corally in color. The other mug, okay, so a little story time, was when she had a sale and she did this first comment gets the item basis. And basically what happens there is the seller posts a picture of the item and then whoever gets to comment first will get to buy it. So she did that on her other account, Massa Ceramics, and in these types of situations, I don't normally get to snag anything as people on the internet are so fast to type and comment, and my internet usually doesn't cooperate, but for some reason, I got lucky. And I really did a happy dance once I found out I was able to snag this one, so yeah. So that's about it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. If you don't want to, that's fine. That's okay. Let me know if you like this kind of thing, me talking in front of the camera. I recently bought a new mic, or camera mic, 
and I wanted to try it out. That's why I did this. So please excuse my awkwardness. This is the first time I'm talking in front of the camera. Yes. But yeah, um, stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.